Hello everyone, and welcome to our video series for Power Virtual Servers on the IBM Cloud. My name is Victoria DeVore. And my name's Daniel Hopwood. And we are technical sales specialists for the IBM Cloud platform. Today, we will be walking you through part one of our three-part video series. Part one will focus on providing you with an overview of the Power on Cloud offering, configuration options available today, the value that this offering brings, and finally, how it compares with other vendors. With that, let's get started. Before we get into the cloud offering, let's first touch on IBM Power Systems. IBM Power has consistently been ranked the most reliable system for the 10th straight year with 5.9% uptime. With IBM Power, you're also getting end-to-end -end security from the processor to the OS. IBM Power is built for the enterprise so that your performance needs can be met. Not to mention the fact that IBM Power works seamlessly across private and hybrid cloud environments, making it easier to run your mission critical workloads. Power systems are so secure, reliable, and enterprise grade that 10 of the 10 top banks, eight out of the 10 top healthcare providers, nine of the top 10 insurance providers, and eight of the top 10 retail companies trust IBM Power Systems to run their most critical and data-intensive workloads. IBM has brought all of these features Power9 has to offer to the IBM Cloud with AIX and IBM I available today. With the Power Virtual Server on IBM Cloud, you can create cloud environments for your mission-critical workloads without changing the core platform. It is a self-service offering where you can self-provision monthly Power Virtual Service instances from IBM Cloud with a pool of compute, memory, storage, and network infrastructure. I will get into more detail on the configuration options in the upcoming slides. With this offering, IBM will also manage and support up to the OS level, and the client will manage the OS and up. IBM also offers services for a fully managed environment if that is of interest to the client. On the right-hand side of this slide, you will see the solution design. Essentially, Power9 systems along with IBM storage and network are deployed through a pod, which can also utilize additional IBM cloud resources such as cloud object storage through service endpoints. Now you may be asking yourself, why not keep your power environment on-prem? Well, the answer is because you will get more efficiency and flexibility with a cloud environment. You're getting the latest power technology, so you will automatically see efficiency. For example, there is about a 25% efficiency on the cores when you move from a Power 8 to a Power 9 system. This results in cost savings as you can run more workloads with less compute. In addition to saving on the cores, you can also expect a 10% savings within your environment as there is no management plane needed with the cloud offering. Additionally, like any cloud service model, it is an OPEX model where you can pay by the drink so you can also see cost savings from that standpoint. In terms of scalability, IBM Cloud allows you to provision Power9 LPARs on demand to respond to changes in your business. This is a major value add to the power on cloud offering as it allows you to effect efficiently manage high and low volumes of traffic on demand. There are multiple use cases that power virtual servers on IBM Cloud can help address for your business. For clients that are looking to test newer OS versions or hardware before a refresh, power on cloud fits this use case perfectly. Clients can create a temporary secure sandbox environment for testing workloads and deprovision the LPARs when they are finished with testing. A second use case for this offering is for clients who want to run production power workloads in a cloud environment to leverage the benefits with a consumption-based cloud model. This offering is great for clients who need flexibility to burst and scale their on-prem environments or simply for temporary capacity. Examples for this use case include Oracle and DB2 workloads, custom applications, and cloud-native or modernized applications. A third use case is using Power VS on IBM Cloud as your disaster recovery site. This is very beneficial as currently, a client would need to build out their own data center as a part of their DR strategy in a different geography. With Power VS on IBM Cloud, 
Clients now have an affordable way to implement their DR strategy as either an on-prem to the cloud as the DR site or a cloud to cloud DR site. So in the previous section, we touched on the general concepts around virtual server on the IBM cloud. However, there's a second type of offering around power on cloud that I'd like to quickly cover to better dis distinguish between the two. IBM cloud comes in multiple flavors. The first flavor introduced was power on SkyTap. SkyTap provides environments to run and modernize your traditional mission critical AIX and Linux on power applications alongside x86 workloads without having to refactor. This offering flavor is usually used for development and test environments. The second and newest flavor is Power Virtual Server on IBM Cloud, which is a LPAR as a service offering for fully customizable environments that can be used when you want to run more simplified workloads with ease of scalability. Now that we've distinguished between the two flavors, Let's continue to focus on the Power Virtual Server on IBM Cloud offering and discuss the configuration options. Our offering is highly customizable to match the needs of your workloads and business needs. This offering is built with Power Systems S922 or E880, E980. The Scaleout System S922 is mostly used for smaller and distributed workloads. The scale-up E880, E8, E980 system is mostly used for larger enterprise workloads that require a higher number of cores. For compute, we offer core options from 0.25 up to 143 cores. For S922 systems, the maximum number of cores is 15 for AIX and 4 for IBM I. For E880, 980 systems, the maximum number of cores is 143. We also offer several different options for processor types. With a dedicated core, the LPAR is all allocated a set number of cores and it can never use more than what was allocated, also known as hard partitioning or hard capped. Dedicated cores are allocated in whole cores. With shared cores, Although the LPAR is allocated cores in a shared pool, the LPAR can actually use more cores than allocated if there are free cores in that pool, also known as uncapped partitioning. Shared processors can be micro-partitioned and are allocated in fractional cores, for example, a fourth of a core. In terms of memory, we offer between 8 to 64 gigabytes of RAM per core. We also offer multiple performance tier fiber attached storage that I will touch on in an upcoming slide. As I mentioned, the current OS options available are AIX and IBM I, with Linux becoming available soon. We offer support for AIX 7.1 or later and IBM I 7.2 or later. For North America data center options, we have Dallas, Washington DC, and Toronto currently available, and Frankfurt and London available for European data centers. We plan to expand into Asia Pacific and Latin America within the next year. The storage that the Power Virtual Service offering uses is IBM Flash System 9150 with Tier 1 or Tier 3 options. This is end-to-end -end NVMe based flash storage with hardware data compression and deduplication that allows for greater cost efficiency. As you can see, IBM offers highly customizable and efficient LPARs for our clients. Now I will hand it over to Daniel, who will discuss why we are leaders in this space. So what are the benefits of utilizing IBM Cloud for your power environment? To start, we offer a suite of power offerings in a customizable fashion. We have AIX and IBM I with a Linux offering coming soon. We also offer the option to pick and scale to the exact LPAR size you need compared to our competitors' pre-configured sizing. Our infrastructure is also certified to run your enterprise applications like SAP, Oracle, and DB2, so you're able to host all components of your power environment in the cloud. With moving to Power Cloud, you also get the benefits of our standard cloud offerings, such as Bring Your Own License and our industry-leading cloud security like FIPS 142 certifications. Lastly, IBM has been providing customers power for over 20 years. We have the development and consulting experience with power that other cloud providers just can't provide. With that, 
The benefits of Power vs. x86 still continue in cloud modernization. Power 9 can offer two times the performance of a traditional processor and can also be paired with a GPU for almost three times faster throughput for your intensive workloads. Now that we have covered the benefits of power on cloud, let's see how we stack up against the competition. With IBM, we provide the most offerings possible compared to our competitors. For native power, we offer S922 and E880 and 980 to meet your workload demands for your production, DR, and HA environments. We also offer power in our SkyTap offering, where you can migrate your legacy workloads to the cloud to create modernized production workloads and dev test environments. This contrasts with Google and Azure, which only offer S922 servers and have limited production options and usage pricing. This leaves IBM as a leading power cloud provider. In this video, we have covered the IBM Power Cloud offering, its customizable features, benefits, and how it stacks up against the competition. Join Victoria and myself in part two to get a deep dive into the technical components of the Power Cloud offering.